Welcome back Trimmers, so over the last little while I've been pulling apart some laptop batteries and some other bits and pieces to get cells out of them and some of them I'm not too sure what type of cells they are, I don't know anything about them and I'm hoping that some of you guys would have seen them before in the past, at least know what they are, maybe what the capacities are, whether they'll be usable um, later down the track, obviously not maybe in the power wall but for other um, projects along the way. So I've got about three or four different types of batteries and I'm hoping that some of you guys will know what they are. So let's have a look at the first one. So first of all, 18 volt drill battery. I haven't taken apart many drill batteries. This is the 18 volt Ryobi. I'm not too sure if this is lithium or um, metal hydride, but I'm sure one of you guys will be answer, answer it. This is what they look like. They're paper coated, I'm not really liking that at all. The voltage is dead. They're all in series. It's just one big um, series lot. It's interesting how they ended up just sticking a cell on the top to make it fit through the, the thing in here which is quite interesting but not too sure what these are um, possibly just to throw away but it'll be actually interesting to know if any of you guys have charged them up and be able to know what the capacities are the most likely not the um, lithium ion but um, the other type whatever it's called metal hydrate or whatever it is so yeah there's that one so if any of you guys know about that I'll throw that away next thing is I came across these. These look like almost D-sized batteries, but this is an 18650. So 18650, and this is obviously a heck of a lot bigger than the 18650. So what the model number of these are, is these are 2650s, which is pretty cool because they almost look like an 18650. They've got almost the same cap, and if I try and bring that into light, it almost looks like a 18650 but it's obviously massive so I'm not too sure how well that's going to show up on the camera I'm hoping that the model number shows up I don't know the capacity I haven't charged these up yet so I'd love to know more about these they look cool they look massive in comparison to 18650s this is an old obviously 18650 the same length obviously massive in comparison love to know the capacity of these um, I, and the other interesting thing about these that really surprised me is that they're not made in China they're made in Canada so I haven't found a battery yet that's made in Canada so that's fantastic really um, maybe that means that they're better quality who knows love to charge these up um, they do fit into an 18650 holder however um, but I'd need to cut the plastic shrouds off and then they'll sit in obviously they're it'll almost sit in but not correctly so I need to just do some cutting and then I should be able to charge them up and at least do some tests on them but if you, any of you guys have had these before played around with them uh, I've only got four of them they came out of some kind of laptop pack or something it was a round cylinder like one but yeah I'd love to know more about these mainly because they look pretty cool um, and I'll just bring up that on the screen a little bit closer and I'm hoping that's going to stay in focus Anyway, if not, I'll, if it's too hard to read, I'll stick it in the description below. So, that's that. Next one along, um, that I don't know much about, is these ones. So, these are quite cool. I thought that these were 18650s, two of them inside. So, what I decided to do was rip off the bit of plastic. But, they're not 18650s. They're the same length as, almost the same length as an 18650. Which is why I thought there's just two 18650s in some plastic wrap but that's not the case at all these things here came out of a power bank not a laptop battery and the positive is on this end which is what you think the negative is the, po uh, the negative is on this end which looks kind of more like a positive and if I bring that into the camera view a bit more you'll kind of see what I mean so these things are Boston Power um, the, the one side's vented so I'm not too sure which it says vented side but it's kind of doesn't really indicate which side but either way um, and I'm not sure what the capacity of these things are no idea uh, I thought if I look at this other one here I'm not too sure how well this focus is working but um, I thought there was um, as I said two 18650s they're not if I start ripping some plastic off you see it's actually one cell um, and it's all kind of molded and yeah I'm guessing if I was to strip this down a lot more it would just be like taking apart an actual battery so 
yeah it hasn't got two 18650s in it it is something different it kind of reminds me of one of these things now these are obviously out of laptop packs as well um, I think these are kind of the same chemistry as 18650s and from memory um, the capacity of these is actually pretty good it's normally around 2000 milliamp hours from what I've tested uh, I've got a ton of these Obviously, if you guys have more information just quickly about these cell, uh, these cells, that'll be good. Positive on this is that the flat side, which is actually exactly the same as this positive flat side. So this looks this one here looks like a massive uh, increase to the size of this one, kind of on the same um, this kind of the same idea, where the negative looks kind of this is the negative as well. So yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, obviously on these I've also got a whole lot more so in the power bank so this is a power bank that I've got this has obviously got another four so the total of these I've got six so far that I've found there's some more details on these ones here so if I bring that up to the camera I'm hoping it stays in focus and it's a 5300E these ones are made in China um, this power bank itself has got um, a 5 volts 2 amps, 5 volts 1 amp and it still works which is good. Um, so I'm not kind of wanting to take it apart anymore, I kind of started stripping it apart to find some beautiful 18650s but I obviously found these instead. So I'd love to know more about these, if one of you guys had have these bef you know have had these before know some information about them I haven't done any googling yet but um, I'm hoping that you one of you guys is smart enough to um, to have all the details on these and the capacities and whether they're worth playing with otherwise what I'll do is I'll just leave them in this power bank because really I really don't have a use for cells this size uh, but yeah who knows what I'll do is maybe if I get enough of them I could make a big power bank or I could use it for another project or I could do something else with it so yeah another interesting thing so more information about these cells would be fantastic and then of course these cells here I already don't know too much about them I end up having more and more of them I keep finding so there's obviously eight of them there I've got another eight of them in the, in the beautiful red color and I found another lot so now I've got 16 so I've got tons of these coming now so yeah I'm not too sure what to do with these so yeah that's what it looks like I'm guessing that these will just be put into the bin um, but it'll just be interesting to know a little bit about these 26650s these look pretty cool love to know more more about these as well and I'm not too sure what to do with these maybe stick them in a oh I don't no idea but interesting ideas so if I bring the camera back up to me any luck thanks guys for watching once again the lights right in my face but that's fine please comment if you know some information and thanks again for watching see you guys in the next video